Hey guys, and welcome. In today's video, I wanted to go into more detail around the specialists in Battlefield 2042 and give you some information and details on which one will be the best for you to use when you first jump onto the game, depending on, of course, your playstyle. Now, of course, these specialists are very versatile in the way that you want to use them, and you can use them on things like All Out Warfare, Hazard Zone, and Portal as well. My advice to you, though, would be to stick with one specialist throughout until you have ranked it up enough to unlock a couple of different um, armor gears for them, and again, just rank them up a little bit more. Because again, some of the customization for these specialists are absolutely sick. Now, on screen right now, you can see I'm currently trying to rank up Irish, and I love the way that Irish looks and plays in this game. Now, the way that Irish would typically stand is this right here. This is how you would look when you load into the game to start with. However, if you did pre-order the game, you get this legendary Irish skin, which is really, really cool as well. But also, as you can see here, there are loads of different things within Irish as well. And this is why I would recommend sticking with one specialist until you have really done the business with them. Now, look, you've got the rare ones here. And and tier 1 is essentially what you get when you've completed a series of challenges with them. And then, of course, you get the OG Battlefield 4-1 as well. Really, really excited. Now, moving on to a couple of the specialists I would recommend you using in the very start of this game. The first one being Irish. Irish is an engineer. Again, his intention is to defend, fortify, and improvise. And again, he has a couple of different cool things. In the video, you can see in the background right now, which shows the fortification system. And this is what I used on Hazard Zone to really save my ass. Again, put it down anytime you want. You actually spawn with two of these, by the way. You can put it down and just have cover from front of you and also behind you. You also have an APS-36 Shoot Down Sentinel, which the description of it is. This compact system automatically tracks and intercepts any incoming grenades and missiles in its immediate vicinity. So it's essentially like a trophy system. This is so good by the way for locking down areas and putting in areas of the map which are busy which you know you're going to get shot whether it's on any of the conquest or breakthrough where you see enemies are going to come towards you put the shield down in front you can defend off and any nades or anything are thrown at you this thing is going to be this essentially this uh, trophy system will be able to deflect any of these grenades as well as you can see in the video in the background even rockets and yeah, it's really, really cool. Again, not only this, but you can essentially get additional armor pieces and recovers more armor from different ammo drops and things like that. So whereas one person with the rocking armor may only get one armor piece or may sometimes not even get one armor piece when they go over and replenish their ammo and equipment, Irish will always get full armor when he goes over one of those ammo boxes. Which again, just a really cool, neat little feature. And again, when you do continue to use them, you get to obviously unlock all of these different uh, bits of customization, armor sets and things along those lines. And this one right here looks absolutely sick, but you do have to destroy 3,200 projectiles with the shoot down Sentinel in order to get that. It will take a long time. It will be a bit of a grind. But again, you throw it down in high traffic areas and it should, in theory, fly by. The next one I would stick with as well, if you're more of a rushy person who likes to go in and get as many kills as possible, is Falk. Now, Falk, again, is a support specialist. Again, the intention is to supply, maintain, and revive. So again, with Falk, obviously, she has, as you can see on the screen right now, she has a Surrett pistol, which gives the, your teammates a bit more health and you can actually keep shooting them until they go to max health without the need for a med kit, which is really, really helpful. Also with this thing as well, you can heal yourself. So instead of having a med kit on the ground, which you've got to throw down and then wait to heal, you can instantly inject yourself with this thing and you will heal yourself. It is really, really cool. And it has saved me in so many different situations. It's really, really cool. Not only this though, but of course, this means also that she's also a combat. Not only this, but Falcon can also revive any ally to full health. So when someone is down on the ground, typically when you revive them and you're on your team, they'll get up, but they won't be full health. You'll have to wait until they regenerate their health and then they can get back into combat. With Falk, this could be real clutch, by the way. If you're in a really tight situation and a teammate just manages to get you up, if you're running Falk, your teammates will be back to full health and you could actually, that could make the difference of taking an objective and dying on an objective. So Falk's a really, really good specialist to go for if you are fairly new at the game as well. And if you're more of a person that likes to go and revive teammates, heal people, pay, basically play more of a support role, as it mentions, then Falk is the person for you to go for. And of course, alongside this as well, with your gadget, you can actually also put down a med kit. You can select a med kit with Falk as well. So you've literally you've literally just got full inventory or so your class is literally stocked out with everything to do with healing. So you'll have a med kit, you'll also have the Surret pistol, and also you can revive them to full health as well. So again, this is the best one to go for if you are more support player. And of course, make sure you are using this char character all the way. Look at some of these customizations that are on here. This just looks so so sick. Some of them you unlock when you just rank up, but this one here. Full riot gear with matte black and red. It just looks so, so cool. 
cool and again that's not it is that's not only it you can get different things and stuff like that but yeah again if you are going to use one of these i would try and stick with them until you do get as much done with them as possible because you unlock some really really cool gear and the final one i would really recommend going for is casper now again a lot of people love sniping on this game a lot of people love to play a little bit more stealthy and casper is the perfect person for that for the reason obviously he has a ghillie suit he's almost invisible at times when in bushes and stuff like that and from long distance it, you just can't see them when you're lying down of course it's a ghillie suit that's what's going to happen but with Casper, Casper is more of a recon class. So again, his objective, so his intentions are observe, infiltrate, and eliminate. Now, Casper does have an OVP recon drone. And again, I'll show you the video on the screen right now. When you use this recon drone, you can spot different enemies, vehicles, and things along those lines. And again, it also displays not just on the minimap, but also in front of your teammates when you're spotting them as well. Not to mention you get like 5 plus XP per every time you spot someone. So I think in a game earlier on today, I was spotting people and I was just getting XP, 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 XP. So this would go towards your rank quite a lot as well. Again, you can't just continuously spam the same people because it, I think they have put a limit on it because they know that might be where you can sort of abuse it a little bit but again if there are new enemies or if that enemy dies and spawns back you can spot them again and it'll give you the xp for it too so again a really good way to rank up and also just it's really helpful for teammates as well and it's more of a support role really so your teammates know exactly where people are on an objective or where vehicles are when they're coming towards you and stuff along those lines so yeah it is a really really solid specialist to start with not only that though, but Casper also has a movement sensor. Now this is called cool to bang on objectives or if you're being quite a long range sniper and you're trying to support from a distance, it's a good place to put around you so you know exactly what's going on around you as well. For me, I would use this on an objective. I can put it down in a place where I know an objective is going to be or where an objective that I know the enemy have, we've just taken the enemy and straight back for it. This way, you can see on the minimap exactly where nearby threats are, nearby enemies are, and also it helps your teammates as well because they can also see that threat sensor on the map. Also, really, really solid way to also get loads of kills on an objective, which helps in turn rank up the specialist and rank up your weapons because more XP per kill, etc. The movement sensor is 100% the best thing to use. At the moment, I would say, I personally love running Casper, but the only reason I'm running Irish is because of that portable shield or the fortification uh, system, which you can just pull up at any time, and it really, really does help. So one that I forgot really to mention, which is also a really good one, is Rayo. Rayo is, again, a recon with the intention to observe, infiltrate, and eliminate, They're basically very, very similar to Casper. But again, he's got a couple of different traits. The Cyber Warfare Suit. It disables all enemy hardware. Again, you can see right here, you, you can basically hack different vehicles which disables that vehicle and scrambles it completely which is huge for conquest games as well even breakthrough at times if you have a vehicle or something that's if you have a helicopter or something that's coming straight over you and that's raining down fire if you can hack them with rayo it will essentially do that they won't work they'll crash it's so so good and not only that as well you can you can actually hack different things and different systems around the map so as you can see you can also do this with bridges uh, bollards stuff like that to prevent vehicles from going to a certain location or going over to a cer certain location it's really really helpful and to be honest rayo is a really good specialist to start with also i would probably say stick with the other ones to start with but if you're more of an objective based player that plays conquest or breakthrough a lot and you are sick of these vehicles always dominating rayo is a really good one as well the next thing is the trojan network this is a really interesting one that again is quite a sleep and a lot, probably a lot of people aren't really going to recognize this but when you've hacked sort of like an enemy with equipment or if you're in a vehicle and there's an enemy in there and their systems have been hacked and they've then you've went and downed them it reveals all of the enemies around them so they've literally just come out of spawn or they've jumped out of a vehicle with four or five people in and you've downed them at that time it reveals all of the enemies within that vicinity so Again, really helpful for yourself and also for your teammates as well. So they're the four main specialists I would rock to start with. Again, for me, Irish is the best one because of the, the fortification system and the little shield you can put up. But also, Casper is my second favourite at the moment. Not just that as well with Rayo. Look at the different armour sets you can get for Rayo if you continue to use it as well. Even this one, level 58, looks absolutely badass. And the epic one that I've got, the Dust Devil from pre-ordering. Yeah, it's really, really cool with the night vision goggles as well. But look how sick look how sick this looks it's just so cool anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed today's video drop a like if you have again very very short one uh, to go through today and 
this I'm hoping has helped a lot as well. For me, again, those two are my favourite. Irish and Casper are the two I would really recommend. However, Rayo and Falk are also two really good ones for more support roles as well. I'm currently starting with Irish and Casper to rank them up all the way and to get to the mastery rank with them. Really, really excited to use them and to get unlocked that end camo. But yeah, hope this video has been helpful to you guys. Drop a like if it has and subscribe to the channel. Loads of videos coming on Battlefield and other games as well. But yeah, have a good day, guys. We'll see you in the next one.